All right, guys, welcome to another video. So I'm going to go ahead and show you this auto aim during sliding. I'll show you that mechanic. So that'll let you just uh, go ahead and start firing the second you start sliding. Now, there is a problem with that on clients on during replication. So I'll show you that. I don't know what's causing it. I can't even figure out where they're activating the sliding uh, movement mode yet. I just haven't had enough time to look over how they're handling that. But yeah, you'll see what, what's happening is whenever this gets called, it's somehow, for some reason, it's interrupting the sliding. So I don't know if they're checking to see if they want to aim, but only on dedicated servers or something. I don't know. Um... I'm not sure if this does that on a listen server. Uh, now, right now, I'm probably playing as the server itself. Uh, yeah, and it looks like it works fine. Uh, but if I do two, will it still work on the client? No. Okay. So it's a, a client specific thing on replicated servers. So. Yeah, I'll look into that. I don't know why that's the case. That's weird because I'm, uh... Well, I thought I was multicasting it. Um... No, that didn't fix it. Okay, I didn't think so. I was thinking, no, that's not going to have uh, uh, an impact on that. I don't know what's causing it, guys. I'll look into it. Anyway, so uh, by default, it'll be disconnected. But if you go under DAO logic, weapon logic, and weapon firing logic, right over here in the corner, you'll see uh, this, and you can just hook it back up. Uh, so, yeah. Now... Uh, if you watched the uh, equip montage there, and let me get off of here. I'll just uh, play as a client. So if you watch the equip montage, it blends out really well now. So I fixed that problem. Now it's still going to look a little a little stiff whenever you're uh, do, whenever you're holstering it. Uh, I might end up needing to like make a dedicated unequipped animation for it to make it look any better um but yeah so i'll eventually get around to that i'll try to get that fixed next update but i'm not gonna make any promises um i still have some breakpoints set from when i was debugging earlier so if i uh pull out two pistols you'll see it, it still looks just as good. And if I pull out a flashlight, yeah. So see, you'll, you'll see that fix. It fixed that issue across the board. And for those of you who are interested in knowing how I fixed it, I'll give you a brief breakdown. By the way, uh, happy holidays, uh, guys. Now... With linked anim layers, we have to use inertialization. There's no way around it because there's no, and there's no in, inf, animation information being uh, accessed by the linked anim layer itself. So inertialization has to be used. Uh, I'm not going to go over how like what inertialization is, but basically, instead of blending two poses together, it it's a blending method that only requires the current pose, uh, which is why it can cause problems. Now the fix was actually really easy. I just reset on become relevant because what was happening, I guess, is it was, uh, I guess it was caching some data or something. And whenever we would start blending out of this right here, uh, then this would start playing and it would cause some odd, weird movements uh because of the last pose that was linked here um so 
that's why reset on become relevant fixed it. So there was a bug with uh, the second sequence not playing. When drawing uh, pistols, I noticed the rifle unequipped montage would play, but the dual right would not. So, it, and that was anytime you would switch weapons, uh, you would chain animations together and unequip, and then an equip, an equip followed following after the unequip. Uh, anytime that would happen, it would not play that. I did fix that. Um, so that problem is a little bit more complex to explain, um, but I guess I'll try. So over here on the montage equip, first of all, there were situations where sometimes this was being cleared and then it was being uh, called over here. This probably isn't even necessary, uh, but because I'm sharing some of this information here with clients, I I haven't really investigated if uh, not having that set by the clients would uh, cause any problems. I don't think it would, but I went ahead and added anyway. So the main problem was is that whenever we start playing our equips for some weird reason, uh, the last montage. Uh, the last holster montage we were playing was being interrupted. And when it got interrupted, it was firing this, which was coming over here. And because this was had no value, it was automatically rendering true, which was causing it to perform a safe exit. In which case it would uh, basically cancel out the uh, montage. So the safe exit is for interruptions. So uh, if the animation is interrupted, we need a way to like finish handling the data. Otherwise, like the linked anim layers won't be linked right. The layering settings won't be assigned. The poses, like everything will be off. It'll be thrown out of whack. So um, yeah. So as as far as uh, that goes, uh, the actual fix of it actually wasn't right there. It was over here, if I can even remember where that is. Yeah, right here. So uh, I just added a one tick delay between uh, the holster and the next equip. And that's basically all I needed to fix that. So there was also another uh, problem whenever you would spam the pick up, drop, pick up, drop, pick up, drop. Uh, sometimes like, like if you were standing right here, picking up and dropping, picking up and dropping, all of a sudden for like one or two frames, you'd see the weapon disappear. And it was actually coming over here to the world origin. And then it was reappearing right there. And then whenever you'd exit, it would throw all kinds of warnings here, uh, talking about, you know, uh, use of the teleport flag, uh, simulating physics and whatnot. So what was actually happening is over here, because I have this interpolate into the hand logic, if you timed things just right during the rifle uh, equip and you dropped it at just the right point when it was still uh, interpolating into the character's uh, hands, uh, then it would continue doing that after simulation of physics was enabled. So that's actually what was causing it. Um, so now you'll see that uh, if we're simulating physics, we just stop ticking. Uh, we just stop the tick. Because normally, under normal circumstances, uh, this logic in here, it automatically uh, uh, stops ticking the uh, component as soon as, uh, and that's for performance reasons, obviously. Uh, so we only enable tick whenever we need it, and then we disable after we're done. Um, so that's what was causing that problem. Um, some people might be like, well, why didn't you just use a timer by event, uh, you know, or timer by function? Um, guys, it, you know, I've seen the Smart Poly video <laughs> about, uh, uh, or I don't know if, I, I, I just seen it in my feed. I, don't, I didn't actually watch it, but I, I know there's videos out there where they, 
demonize the event tick. It's not, it's not demonic, guys. It's, it's not possessed. Uh, it's okay to use the event tick. Uh, in fact, they've debunked that. The guys at Epic Games have debunked that during one of their live streams. Uh, so you can go watch that. They debunk a bunch of stuff and they talk about it and why it's not true. Uh, so the video's out there. Uh, if you need help finding it, let me know. I could probably help you find it. Um, so yeah, I'm going to undo that change. Let's see. Right. I covered that and that. Yeah, that's already, that was already covered. Um, so the pickup gun, yeah, there was a problem with, uh, the pickup gun. Now, as far as, yeah, what was happening is I was never resetting the clear items and hand logic. I, right. So in the last update on the slot manager, um, if you come back over here, you'll see that I added this clear items and hand logic now where you can skip the act of clearing the hens. Don't do that, guys, unless you know what you're doing, unless you have a really good reason to do it. The reason why uh, I added that is because I didn't want uh, the server to get spammed by clients whenever they would join the game uh, and spawn in with their weapons because the whenever you spawn in with the weapons, it's just calling uh, the pickup logic. So... Um, it's using that same, uh, pickup or attach style logic. Uh, and if you, uh, if you don't, uh, skip that, then it just spams the server with a bunch of stuff, uh, from all of them. That's really unnecessary. It ends up having to do a lot of extra processing for no real reason. So I added that for that. Also, it fixed another issue, uh, regarding, uh pickups so there were situations where if you had an item in your hand or i think if you were holstering an item in your hand and then and then you interrupted it by picking up an item then it would clear it anyway so there it was something along those lines so whenever uh we're picking up an item we skip the act of clearing items in the hand uh, from the slot manager so that it never gets cleared uh, that way whenever the item is equipped after the pickup It won't clear the items. So that's really only there. You'll probably never use it uh, But I exposed it anyway. Uh, I'm not sure if that was even a good idea, but I'm sure uh, somebody will find a <laughs> find, uh, find it confusing uh, at some point um, so If we come over here, let's see what else was there? shot sound effects so most of the other things he kept reporting were all revolving around this problem right here that was due to a refactor and i'll go ahead and explain that now that that one's actually fairly easy to explain so um on our gun logic i i wanted to refactor that uh gun logic so that we weren't calling update mesh every time we were executing this on all of our characters so instead of doing that i figured it was better to only update the information whenever it was attached or detached from the character so over on the um yeah so over on uh these two blueprints right here uh they're now uh binding to that attach event and it's going to update it Every single time that attach event is called on the AC held object master. Now, what the reason why uh, that problem existed in the first place, uh, the sound effects weren't playing and the reload animations weren't playing. And in some cases, the firing animations weren't playing. Uh, the reason why is because the montages were only being updated on begin play. They weren't being updated when we attached. So now I have... Uh, I have this being updated every time that it's attached as well. So now you just have this update char data function and you can call that uh, from your item blueprint uh, whenever it needs to be updated because it won't update like automatically.
but I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, so I said I was gonna uh, fix this next update. That's gonna have to wait. Um, I'll go ahead and close that. I'll probably close those too. I'll look back over them just to be uh, sure. But anyway, um, yeah, so that and then this, the soft reference stuff that is going to have to wait. Uh, I know how to fix it, but I don't know what kind of problems it would cause to reintroduce it because I think they changed the way that they handled that. So I, bl I believe, and I may be wrong, but I don't think I can call block loading on... Uh, from a function. I think it has to be called from an event. I might be wrong though. Um, no, it's the, I uh, delete that. So let's see, block load. Okay, I can call block load asset from here. Okay, well that'll be simple then. So all you'll have to do is plug this in here and uh, turn that into a soft reference output and you're good to go. You can block load it. Uh, it won't cause hitches. It shouldn't cause hitches to block load it because most of that data is actually fairly small anyway, but it could accumulate if you obtained a large number of different weapons. Uh, so anyway, in the next update, I'll, uh, I'll do that. So we'll, we'll just block load those assets. Uh, I can't async load them because things are time sensitive. That data needs to be present and available upon request. So I can't async load it. I, w I would like to, but I can't. Um, but like I said, if it, if the file size is small, it's not going to hurt to block load it. Your computer's not going to struggle. Uh, but anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. And again, happy holidays. I'll see you guys later.